Catherine Tate's Nan character was never really a sort of iconic part of my childhood or further into my lifetime. I've seen her mentioned on Comic Relief a couple of times, but to be honest, I never really understood her character. So with this bearing in mind, I actually went to see the film Nan the Movie, and I actually did enjoy myself. What did I actually think? We'll find out today. Going into a film with sort of blind eyes and not even watching the trailer does actually give you some sort of pleasant surprise when you actually bear and watch a new film, especially in the context of a film like Nan the Movie. I'm gonna hold my hands up and say, yes, I do like a comedy movie, but it has to be a very particular comedy to actually make me laugh and sort of affect me sometimes emotionally. Um, but I'll get further into that as I sort of progress into this review. The film obviously features Catherine Tate's main character, but then it also features um, her son that plays alongside her. You'll recognize him if you know British comedy. Um, he's from Gavin and Stacey. Um, and actually having those sort of playing off against each other really plays well. Um, obviously he's considered to be the grandson of uh, Catherine Tate's nan. And I think that they're sort of pairing up, um, sort of, I don't know, it just encapsulates a sort of dynamic that works very, very well. She's obviously the really sort of immature Nan character, whereas he's the sort of nice, um, sort of caring grandson that's taking his Nan uh, to see her uh, dying sister. Because they're trying to portray a story that's sort of covering her backstory whilst also progressing in the modern day, we have a number of different flashbacks that go back to sort of World War era-esque sort of things. And I think that the pairing with the modern day sort of narrative parallel to this old style narrative works fairly well. We see the relationship between the two sisters and how they began to love each other and also hate each other. And then throwing that against the end of the film really works well. I'm not gonna try and spoil, spoil the end of the film because I think that that's where a lot of the emotion and a lot of the laughs are laid off. But you need to watch that yourself to really understand what I'm talking about. But if I'm just gonna say it outright, this film did make me cry and it also did make me laugh along the way. The only annoying thing that I would have to say about this film is Catherine Tate's laugh, the <laughs> sort of thing. It just does my head in. Um, but the rest of her character, I don't know, if you enjoy Catherine Tate and her comedy, then you're obviously going to enjoy this film. But for outsiders that have never seen a Catherine Tate film or never seen the character of Nan, you might actually be in for a bit of a surprise. It does take a little bit of a finesse to understand this. And obviously with it being based in the UK and sort of going across from the UK to Ireland, if you're a sort of outside of the UK, you're not a domestic market, I think it's gonna be very, very difficult to understand the character and to understand the other things that are going on. There's a scene within a sort of club where she forgets to take her angina medication, something that many elderly people in the UK would take, um, and she ends up popping a pill of ecstasy. Um, it's obviously not listed directly in the film, but it's sort of, you've got to put two and two together. And I think that scene, and the grandson actually taking her back to the hostel is just outstanding. It has a number of laughs along the way. And I think that it's just, I know, it's, it's something different. With the sort of way the cinema and the sphere of uh, entertainment is currently working, I think that this is well placed because it sort of, it moves away from the sort of action films, these superhero films that we're getting. And to be honest, for someone that's grown up in the UK and knows UK comedy, I think that this worked fairly, fairly well. Um, I enjoyed myself for the majority of the film. There were parts that were slow, parts that were a little bit sort of playing too much up for a laugh but I thought that it kind of worked um, in an inclusive way. And I think that for me, it actually has my seal of approval. I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be a fantastic film. It's a comedy film, it has a couple of laughs, and if you've got a sort of limitless like subscription like myself, then I would recommend going to see it. I don't know if it necessarily quantifies the sort of 12 pound adult ticket price, but that's for you guys to decide. If you like her character, then I'm sure you're going to like this film. If you've seen this film, please let me know what you think because I don't know if many people are gonna actually see this um, and I don't know if it's actually gonna be a critical success. So leave your thoughts down in the comments section down below so I can get a sort of feeler for what you guys think. That has been all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe and fingers crossed, I will see you very, very soon. That's been all from me, bye-bye.